So I walked up to me dad's uh, <coughs> and this lot here came running in behind me way up behind the door and I took the video. So anyway, when I um see these are all the ones down and he blocked off the back door. There's, there's only one way in, one way out. So this is where I got ambushed the other night. I jumped on, busted jaw, bloody blah. But here's the thing, when they first start grabbing me when I was coming out of Ireland, they grabbed me in the airport and said I was drinking shit and an abusive behaviour. They're trying to make me out to be a violent madman. So when they're chatting and abusive behaviour, they, they bailed me to me ma's just. Always to me ma's just harassing me ma, harassing me ma, harassing me ma, so she wouldn't let me come around her house anymore. So then I got bailed out by me dad to this address. But they kept sending the wardens to me ma's address which made no sense until now. They don't want it on the record that I was actually staying here and they bailed me here. Cause they're gonna try and do, cause they already tried to do me the other night. So they're gonna try and whack me here, yeah? So the government was sending the wardens to me ma's, me ma's address, even though I turned up in the court, they still have me up in charges on the warden. The copper walked up to the solicitor in the court the other day, the stitch up solicitor, right next to me, and says to the Carter O'Higgins solicitors, the guards that want to press charge, the guards that want to take this any further, and he went, no, no, come outside, come outside and talk to me. Right in front of me, the copper said, whether that was a, a ruse or a ploy, I'm not too sure. They'd probably deny it. So basically, I'm bailed, I'm bailed to an address here. So soon all, these, all these charges are probably gonna go away. So I was walking up. So what I'm doing is I'm handing them the card. When they come up to nick me, the coppers, because they're stalking me all the time. Agents of the Republic and the Danon and the whatever you want to call them, whatever they are. I usually pull out my phone with my right hand and hand them this card with my left hand, yeah? Today I'm observing the Christian faith and I don't speak to them after that. So yesterday, I was walking through Temple Bar the other day. The doorman were all screwing at me. So I went to walk into one pub where four of them jumped on me before and I smacked them all up. And I came back looking for them a few hours later. And they bottled it. They put two other doormen on. So I bashed, the, I bashed the barman. Four of them jumped on me and people in the pub and tried to pull me apart. I was fighting them all day in Temple Bar. I was fighting first. I fought four of them there. Then I went, got changed and went in and had a few rows with more of them. All foreigners working for the UNLA and the IRA on the doors. So then I went and had a few rows with a few of them. I had about four or five rows. And then eventually a lot of them jumped on me and broke my shoulder and ripped my shoulder out. And the cop was charged. It didn't charge me because I had a dislocated shoulder and a, dislo and a broken ankle. They just threw me out of, out of the police station in the in, outside, or they threw me out, out they, they escorted me to the hospital and threw me out of the police car out, out back of the van outside the, the hospital. So I'm at again a fractured collarbone or something here as well, fighting them during the night. A black guy, a sore jaw, big cut across me, big cut across my chest. So I'm bailed verbally to this address but when they're sending the wardens they're sending them to me ma's address which i have not even allowed at me ma's house now because of them harassing us so much so basically i, I reckon they're gonna ambush me here well, <coughs> i'm not worried i'll walk in here every night of the week and i'll walk in here every day and they can do their worst i couldn't give a fuck but basically they, they sneaked up behind me when i come in here i got when i walked in here earlier on when i was making that old force video so they have the um, the smoke alarm is covered up. So say I was cornered in the corner, yeah? And someone walked up with a silencer. <laughs> the silencer, would, the smoke from the silencer would probably set the smoke alarm off. So they covered that up. So there'll be no noise, you know, in and out. Wham, bam, thank you, man. But I got, um, someone in my family threatened me a while ago. And said he was going to get his pal to beat me up. I don't know what happened. Maybe, maybe him and his, maybe his pal did beat me up, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the coppers in Tampa Bar, they, I was bound and down in my bag looking for something, and they ran straight up to me and grabbed me left hand. So I couldn't put my hand into the pocket of this phone and say, today I'm observing the, and hand them this card. So by the time I got down to the police station, I was handcuffed, I was dragged off, I never said nothing to them. 
and then they took everything out on the thing and they said if you want to say and I just kept pushing this card over them to the it was on the table to them with me chin so they let me out at two o'clock that morning and bailed me to this address so they keep arresting me and bailing me to this address this is where I've, 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 I've come across a bit of mischief so basically I'm out to get followed by that bitch down there and another fuck got up to the up to the door right behind me they were standing right behind me when i was making the video and another fella all dressed in black i don't know if they actually work for the council but they're floating around the back here so usually um boy fire safety or you, you should be two ways in and out of a building but there's only one way in and out of this building that's an ambush or people could you could say i'm being paranoid but i'm not because i've already been ambushed here so Cowards tried to more on me. <laughs> Kiss my paddy bollocks. I ain't gonna rule over used cunts with a rod of wine. And the fuck all you can do about it.